Oh, hey folks, it's Paul. Um, I've measured out the field. I um, I think I put it in my last video. Where I threw it, it was 379 feet. Uh, with the margin of error, it's probably 380. So it's between 377 and 380. And I've just launched 24 discs. And uh, I'm going to see which one took it. I know that I got a... Um, a 162 katana was one of the last discs I threw and it seemed to go an awful long way um, There was another one that went a pretty long way, but not anything in the realm of what I did yesterday The wind is now moving to our immediate left this away so uh, That way so it's not going to help in our throws here uh, in My throws here, so um, We'll just go ahead and take a look there were no real weaklings. Everything pretty much got to the uh, the palms, which are 265 feet uh, at dead center. So it uh, that's a pretty good throw. You know, for most people, that's a pretty good throw. When you're doing this, it's not a pretty good throw, but it's still a substantial throw. Now that 113, I think, didn't quite make it, although it rolled. So it had a satisfactory flight. Uh, so here are the weaklings right here. This is going to be the uh, the worst of the bunch. Uh, that looks like a, um, a doomsday disc there. That looks like it's almost brought up the rear. We have two over here. Uh, and it's embarrassing because, oh, I know what it was. And I did the best I could, too. I threw this mamba. This is a mamba. And it's around a 142. I threw that as hard as I could with as much hyzer to the left as I could and it still turned over and went to the right. So you can see it just barely edged out this 113 um, Firebird, which is an embarrassment. I threw that as hard as I could, but it just, uh, it just fell out. Okay, bringing up the rear also, these two discs, the T-Bird, and we've got two more here. We've got that uh, Pestilence and the 167 Firebird. All right, now we're getting into the midsection here. The midsection, we've got um, a 136 Roadrunner did pretty well, around 365, 370 feet. Uh, 265 feet, I should say. And the uh, 154 Boss had a little bit of a roll. So it got to a respectable distance. And let's take a look now over here. And uh, there's the boundary over there. Uh, it looks like we got two discs that humped each other here. That's how close they were. Okay, it looks like this is another 137 Roadrunner. Or what is that? 137 Roadrunner. We got another one over here. And we got two more over there, but that one might be the leader. So let's have a look. I didn't get anything quite as deep as I did yesterday, but the nuke and the um, uh, and the weapon of mass humping here is humping the nuke. So that one is there. It looks like that one right there may be the long disc. It looks like this is going to be the long disc. Uh, the green one, the 163 Shrike over there, is also pretty deep. Uh, but this one right here. Oh, we got the the uh, uh, orange one here. So this is going to be the the champion right here. This is still a pretty deep throw, and I think this is that 162. And I felt it when it came off my arm. I knew it was a good throw, and it was. It was the last disc I threw. 162. It's made it to the. Uh, let's see. Uh, from from the left, it is. The first, second, it's the second parking space from the trees, the last set of trees here. So this is, and I knew that this was the long disc. It felt the best coming off my arm. It was the last disc that I threw. So let's take a look and we'll find out what the top three are. Let's make sure nothing else went any further. But uh, my leg is not, is a little tender today. So I didn't do anything super, super uh, strenuous. I threw these, but uh, with a with a twirl, it's 360. But I didn't get too over aggressive with it. All right. So this looks like it's going to be pretty easy. 
Looks like it's going to be... Okay, it's going to be that 162 Katana. And uh, my estimation for the throw is around... Uh, it's around 330 feet, I would say. 330 to 338 feet. Uh, 3, 340, a good throw. Um, it's followed by the purple one there, which is a... That's going to take second place here. Let me take a look at this. This is a Shrike. It's a 168, if I remember correctly. It's a 168 Shrike. This one coming in at around 340. I would say that one right there is more like 350. Uh, this one's probably 348, uh, something like that. And then third place is going to be, I think, the green one. I'll have to double check that. Looks like it's going to be the green one. So 162 Katana first, 168 Shrike second, 163 Shrike third, unless... I see something else to interrupt that, and I don't. So, uh, let's see how close this is. The blue one over here was close, but no cigar. It's close. It's within a meter. It's The distance is way far away, which is why I'm having trouble uh, helping you see it. But I'll show you how close this is. This is number four uh, right here. And this was very close. I'm going to see if I can show you the the green one. Uh, there's a green one over there, and uh, nothing else went over here. So this is going to be fourth place. So here we go. And it was the, hang on, I'll tell you right now. It was the, uh, it was the 168 Corvette. I told you the Corvette is constantly in the hunt. And I'm um, on that line now. It was about a foot forward of that. And coming across here, the next disc on number five would have been that that uh, Day of Dallas 148, I believe is what that is. Or 149, that's a 149 Day of Dallas. So, and then this one did okay too. But it just barely missed. So the blue disc just barely missed third place. I would say by less than two feet. So we'll count that in on the throws, okay? 162 Shrike first, 168, a 160, sorry folks, 162 Katana first, uh, second place, 168 Shrike third place, 163 Shrike with a very, very close, within a meter for sure, of uh, the third place finisher at number four was that blue disc down there, and I forgot what it was. It was a, I forgot now, but it was a 164, I think. I forgot now. But there we have it. All pretty good throws. No weaklings in the bunch. And uh, we're off here because it's hot, and I walked already three miles this morning. Uh, and uh, that's going to do it for old Paulie here, so... Take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for being here. Bye.